and the cycle goes like this. Oh, death burps! Oh my gosh. Okay, bacteria. Sorry. How's everyone doing? My name is Chris and you're watching Fish for Thought. I put out a video every Friday and sometimes during the week as well. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. And for this episode, this very special episode, it's the 1K sub special video I promised you guys. So as the video title suggests, I will be doing the super spicy Korean fire noodle challenge while explaining to you guys what a nitrogen cycle is and how to really deal with it. So this is the packaging, this is what it looks like. It is pretty spicy. I mean, I can handle my spice and I like spicy food, but this kind of spice really just makes it unenjoyable at that point. And I've tried this before. It's pretty much unenjoyable for me and it's really hard to actually finish a packet of this. Um, that being said, it does taste really good and I just wish it wasn't so spicy. But it is and we're gonna do it and here it is. All right, and it's cooked and this is kind of what it looks like. It doesn't look too bad, but the thing is, it doesn't have any broth. I strained the um, noodles and that's how you're supposed to eat it. It doesn't have the broth, so which means all the spice is actually on the noodles. And the noodles capture all of the sauce, okay? And we've got some little bit of seaweed and sesame seed on top. And I'm just gonna take a bite and I'll have to finish this as I explain the nitrogen cycle to you guys. And part of the challenge is not to be able to drink water or anything to calm the spice level down. Whew, okay, it's been a while since I had this. It's still pretty hot. If you guys can see the steam, it just adds to the spiciness of the noodle. Mmm. Tastes really good, but... Oh, here comes the spice. It's really bad to start and then stop. It's easiest to keep on eating, but I'm gonna have to stop a lot because I'm gonna have to explain to you guys. Oh, it's starting, okay. All right, so the nitrogen cycle. Since fish tanks, I'm sweating already. Since fish tanks are a closed system, it's not gonna be able to emulate nature that much and when you introduce fish into a closed system, like a fish tank, then... <coughs> oh gosh. Oh, excuse me. Then you're gonna have to find ways to get rid of the waste that you're introducing along with the fish. Because the fish produce waste, right? Mmm. It tastes good, but... Just so spicy. Oh. Ah. Okay, so the nitrogen cycle is kickstarted when you put anything that's alive into your fish tank. So let's just say fish because that's the most typical thing, right? And when they produce their waste, that's when the nitrogen cycle starts. Not really though. It's only the ammonia that was introduced by the waste. The ammonia comes out first. And this is toxic to fish. Since right now there's no actual way to get rid of the ammonia, the amount of fish in your fish tank is going to suffer because now there's a toxin and there's still no way to get rid of it yet. But actually once the ammonia is introduced, so once your fish does poop for the first time in your tank, <laughs> the um, there's a bacteria colony, a good beneficial bacteria colony that starts in your tank as well in that moment but at that time it's not it's nearly it's not nearly enough to take care of all the toxins that's also introduced okay. oh my gosh So your fish are at risk. <coughs> uh, I don't want to take another bite, but I have to finish this, okay? It's part of the challenge. Where am I? I got lost. 
Oh well, yeah, first time introducing fish, it's a risk because toxins are introduced, beneficial bacteria is introduced, but there's not enough of them yet. So your fish will still get poisoned. That's why a lot of them die if you don't cycle the tank. What I mean by cycling is you buy beneficial bacteria before you put in the fish. That's how you kickstart the cycle. It helps if you have a filter because there's a lot of space in the filter. If you put some filter mediums, like those balls or cylinders, provide services for the beneficial bacteria to grow. Gotta keep eating. Oh my god. Oh. I don't know if you guys can see I'm tearing up. So using that, those beneficial bacteria, it establishes beneficial bacteria colonies. And then when you put your fish in, you introduce the waste that the fish has, but that waste is easily taken care of by the bacteria. First step, this is the start of the cycle. The ammonia gets turned by some beneficial bacteria into nitrite. Now nitrite is still toxic to fish. The key here is the cycle keeps going. A different group of bacteria from your beneficial bacteria colony, not the same ones that turned ammonia into nitrite, not those. A different kind of bacteria turns nitrite into nitrate. Now nitrate is much less toxic than ammonia and nitrite. And this is the key step to making sure that your fish survive and don't get ammonia or nitrite poisoning. Because even a bit of, sorry, even a small level of ammonia or nitrite can cause your fish to become sick and also even die. But it takes much more nitrate to kill off your fish. And guess what? Nitrate can actually be absorbed by live plants. That's why I always say get live plants if you can. Yeah, it's spicy. So I'm going to eat a bit right now, and then I'm going to summarize what I just told you guys, okay? It's coming at me in waves now. It's all in my mouth, not too much in my throat. Some on my lip as well. Actually, in my throat, yeah, I can feel it. Whew. Okay, it's finished. I just finished it. And it's, it's hurting. It's doing things to my mouth and my throat. Oh. Careful not to get it in the eyes. So in summary, when you introduce fish, you kickstart a toxic, not kickstart, you, you introduce toxin, toxins to the water. But at the same time, You introduce good bacteria, but at that time, not enough bacteria to take care of the toxins. That's why it's a good idea to just get the bacteria, bacteria first before any fish, so that the bacteria can grow in number. And then add the fish. Fish introduce nitro. Sorry, fish introduce ammonia gets converted by one group of bacteria into nitrite. Ammonia and nitrite are still very toxic to fish. Gets converted by another group of bacteria 
into nitrate. Nitrate very more, much more handleable by fish and can get uptaken by plants. Okay? And so that's the cycle. And back to the fish. The fish produces more ammonia. And uh, that's the role of the beneficial bacteria as well to take care of ammonia and nitrite and make them into less toxic substances. Oh, <laughs> all right, I did it. Still not allowed to take any water because I didn't finish up this video yet. Okay, or milk, because I heard water really doesn't help at all. Thank you guys so much again for 1K subs. I still remember when I had 50 subs when it first started. To the people who are with me right at the beginning or near the beginning, you know who you are. D Bachelor, NTA, Neon Tetra Aquatics. Or Neon Tetra Aquarius, sorry. The Turtle Girl. Hawaiian Brian, EJ. You guys are awesome. A lot of you, a lot of you um, who I have not mentioned can leave a comment below saying that you follow me from the start. Really appreciate those people. Thank you very much. I hope this video gave you a good laugh and if it did, please subscribe and hit the thumbs up. There will be many more videos to come, including this Friday's Friday show. Have not forgotten about that. All right, and then without further ado, don't forget to get your hands wet.